name is Hande and I am a doctoral student in the Computer Science Department at Aalto University. In this video, I'd like to give you a brief summary of our paper titled Gaussian Process Test for High Throughput Sequencing Time Series – Application to Experimental Evolution, which has recently been published in the journal Bioinformatics. As you might already know, high-throughput sequencing technologies have been very useful in measuring different biological quantities, and they can produce thousands to millions parallel time series. We would like to identify time series with interesting time-dependent structure. However, this analysis has several challenges, since time series are often short and irregularly sampled, and there are only very few replicates available. Thanks to the experimental evolution, we are able to observe the evolution of populations subjected to artificial selection pressures. In our paper, we introduce a GP-based method in order to model the allele frequencies across several generations of Drosophila melanogaster, and we identify the SNPs, which are selected under natural selection. Having the high-throughput sequencing data, our method consists of four steps. First, we align the reads, we call SNPs, and we count reads, supporting different alleles. Then we apply the beta binomial model to estimate allele frequencies, and we calculate posterior mean and variances. Later, by incorporating the calculated posterior variances, we fit alternative Gaussian process models. Finally, we rank the SNPs according to the Bayes factors between the time-dependent and time-independent beta binomial GP models. From now on, we will call beta binomial GP models as BBGP models. As you can see on the right figure, beta binomial model yields large variances for small sequencing depths, which are denoted by the letter N in these figures. Hence, we can include more uncertainty in our GP models when the coverage is low. A Gaussian process is a collection of random variables, any finite subset of which have a joint Gaussian distribution, and it is defined by its mean and covariance functions. In our models, we have used three different types of covariance functions. First one is the squared exponential covariance function, which captures the temporal structure by its two parameters, sigma square f the variance and l the length scale. Secondly, we have used the white noise to model the random noise, and this covariance function has only one parameter, sigma square n, the variance. Finally, we have included the posterior variances at each time points by using the fixed beta binomial covariance matrix. Then, for each SNP, we fit time-dependent and time-independent GP models. In time-independent model, we used white noise and fixed beta binomial covariance functions, while we also include the squared exponential covariance function in the time-dependent model to capture the temporal structure. Finally, we calculated the Bayes factors for each SNP by comparing the marginal likelihoods of the time-dependent and time-independent BBGP models. We compare our BBGP method with the regular GP, which does not include the beta binomial fixed variances, and the cohran mantel hansel test, which is a multiple replicate generalization of Fisher's exact test. We demonstrate the performance of each method by plotting precision recall curves and by calculating the average precisions. We have generated our synthetic data by right fisher forward simulations of Drosophila melanogaster populations, having five replicate populations with 1,000 individuals, where 100 out of almost 2 million SNPs are selected under predefined selection and dominance levels. We have simulated sequencing at nine generations or time points. As we can see in this figure, BBGP achieves a higher average precision than the standard GP and the CMH. As the number of replicates is increased, the performance of the GP methods improves noticeably. However, CMH seems to benefit very little from more replicates. The performance of the standard GP approaches that of BBGP 
as the number of replicates increases, which is consistent with the view that the stronger prior information from sequencing depth is most important when there are not enough replicates. In order to investigate the influence of parameter choice, we carried out an extra simulation on a single chromosome arm with different parameter settings. Simulation results show that average precision increases as the population size n is increased. As the ratio of the number of founder haplotypes over the population size gets larger than a half, average precision drops, probably due to the fact that the selected SNPs with multiple linked backgrounds starts to compete with each other. We also observed an increase in the performance of BBGP as the number of replicates is increased. On the other hand, we did not observe a large improvement in the performance of CMH. We also examined the performance with increasing the length of the experiments up to 120 generations. Average precision rises rapidly for longer experiments where more recombination events can happen which lets the linked sites evolve independently. For moderate and strong selection, BBGP outperforms the CMH test. For weak selection, it becomes hard to distinguish between selection and drift. Therefore, for low selection, both methods perform rather poorly. However, when the population size is increased and the experiment is done for longer time, BBGP gains a large performance improvement over the CMH, even under the weak selection. For strong selection, the precision drops for both methods. We assume that the performance decay could be due to the interactions between selected sites. These interactions can be quite problematic, resulting in larger blocks rising together in frequency, as seen in these monotone plots. We observe that these large blocks do not appear when we simulate only a single selected SNP. Furthermore, this linkage is broken up when larger population size is used for simulations. And the dynamics of allele trajectories become more similar to those that are simulated with high recombination rate. Now let's have a look at the real data where we have three replicate populations with 1,000 individuals at five different time points with 10 observations in all. In Orozco Tarvengel's paper, a 1 megabase region was excluded from the analysis on 3R as a low-frequency haplotype spreads during the experiment. Also, the Korean gene cluster on 3L was excluded as this region has extremely high coverage. These regions are shown in green in these figures. As we can see on the figure at the bottom, beta binomial variance control is able to handle the high coverage problem in the region 3L. And so we came to the end of this video. Thank you all for taking your time for listening.